Ladies, I have been in the midst of moving. As you can see, we're in a new location here this week. So please pardon the interruption in the Roundup's production and filming this week. No fear, we're partly unpacked. You can probably tell it's still a little messy and I'm back, so don't worry. So what's going on in the world of plus size fashion? Well, let me tell you all about it. First of all, I'm loving the Amber Riley interview over at Afro Bella. She talks about her favorite plus size designers, first of all, which is cool to hear about, bullying, and the Mean Stinks campaign. Mean does stink. And you know, sometimes I forget how mean the world can actually be because I get so much positive feedback from all of y'all and from all of the people that I, uh, all the other people that blog as well. And just remember, somebody else probably facing a circumstance that maybe you don't know about or that you don't understand out there, give them the benefit of the doubt and just be nice. That's my little PSA for the week. So speaking of things that go misunderstood, I want to be sure that girls and women viewing plus size models actually understand that most plus size models, they're not actually plus size. You should really know that. Marquita Pring did an interview with WWD recently. She talked about padding. Um, padding yourself to look bigger during photo shoots and some designers want that. Some designers want plus size models to actually look like a size 8 or 10 or 12. You heard that right. Um, Swing by Stylish Curve, she's got all the details on that article. In other magazine news, Robin Lawley, another one of my faves, she's done the first plus size editorial for Australian Vogue recently. Madison Plus has the full spread for your, for your viewing pleasure. Curves and Chaos has alerted us to Fluvia Lacerda's recent reappearance on the Vogue Italia curvy website in a feature called bathing suits for curvy women. Very fitting. Also want to wish Fluvia a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, chick. If you want to catch a glimpse of what it's like to be plus size and working in the fashion industry, check out TLC's new show, Big Sexy. Stylish Curves has all the info on the show. It's going to premiere August 30th at 10 p.m. as a three-part series on TLC, so check your local listings on that one. In designer news, Karma Coma's Fall Winter 2011 Collection Lookbook is out. Madison Plus and Stylish Curves keeping you posted again with the images from the lookbook. I'm definitely into the button-up jacket that they've got going on, the sleeveless striped sweater dress. Definitely two looks I want to pick up for fall and winter. Thank you to Karma Coma for continuing to challenge the idea of what plus size women should be wearing and what we should look like. I love that they do that every single season. Gibri has always been one of my favorite plus size designers as well. She sells predominantly through Etsy. Sometimes trunk shows uh, near Atlanta, Georgia where she's from. She's added some new styles recently to her lineup. Five Favorite Things has all the deets and the link to the Gibri shop if you're in the market for a new dress. Trend news is up next. Curves and Chaos very rightly has noted the kimono trend that's been going on out there. My fave is definitely the Dorothy Perkins orange kimono dress that was featured in the, uh, in the post that she did on this. So check that out. Lots of outfit of the day inspiration out there as well this week for the whimsical among us. Cupcake coming with a floral inspired outfit. Loving the banana color of her dress here. Very summery. Do you have any favorite summer outfits that you've just been rocking over and over again? Maybe in a bright color or something like that? I want to hear about them. Tell, them. tell me about them in the comments down there. Um, and if it's getting a little bit cool where you are or maybe um, getting cooler where, where you live or it's been cool already, shout yourself out in the comments below too. Frox and Fru Fru with some outfit inspiration for you ladies as well. And um, how could you not love this skirt? It's fittingly by a designer named Love to Love You. I would love to love that skirt in my closet. I know that much. I swung by uh, the Love to Love You shop, which is on Etsy, to see if I could pick up a skirt myself. The designer actually doesn't make things in plus size, but I've written her a note to ask her um, if she will make them in plus size. So I will let you know once I find out. And it's beautiful in France these days, just like it is here in Brooklyn. And Gael, who I met during Full Figured Fashion Week, who's a very talented Full Figured Fashion blo uh, blogger, she's wearing some beautiful things this week. I love her pink earrings. I love a really big accessory, obviously. Um, I wish I knew where to get them, though. She seriously has some of the best jewelry out there. I love the proportions on all of her jewelry. So if you're on Accessory Watch, she's the girl to look for. Um, the always beautiful Weisha is looking especially striking this week in a dress that she's reviewing from Style 369. Her accessorization here, again, masterful. Excellent work, dear. I'm loving this look. And I'm in heart with Cupcake's heart nails this week. Um, I got me some new nail polish today, in fact. Can't wait to try that out. Last but not least, 
I want to send some heart and some love out to God's favorite shoes because she recently got married. Woo! How sassy is she in this outfit of the day dress? This was the one that she wore on one of her last days as a single lady and I think she did it up quite right. So if you want to leave a comment or see the links to all the items that I talked about in today's show, just click show more right down there below the video to get the link to my blog and if you can't see that link just go to xoxonetope.com and the post should be somewhere near the top. If it's not, I'm sorry. I try my best to get them up as soon as I possibly can. Sometimes a little late. But uh, that's it for this week. Stay tuned for next week. Thanks for sticking with me, ladies. XOXO, Netapee.